A few years ago, we had this big concept that your house could be more than just like a simple space that was just pretty. It could do more for you, work harder for you, be just a better house for you. And so we came up with this idea of making a house with all of these big ideas. And over time, we started bringing more designers in to get their perspective on what a home could be. My name is Carisha Swanson and I'm the market director at House Beautiful. Whenever we go through this process, we actually talk to a ton of builders all around the country. This has been a pretty complicated year, and so we needed to find somebody we felt like could execute this in the time frame that we had, and also had a floor plan and the subcontractors and all the things that felt like it could be executed in no time. I feel like Tyler was really able to pull that off on a hard deadline. My name is Tyler and this is my f***ing house. <laughs> My name is Tyler O'Brien, and I own Agave Custom Homes, and I'm the president. The style of home that I typically build would be, I hate to say that cliche, but that modern farmhouse. I had just bought this piece of property we have. When House Beautiful came to me, I had suggested Fredericksburg, Texas. It sits in the middle of the Texas Hill Country, so you get the best of both worlds. You're an hour and a half to Austin, you're an hour to San Antonio, so it's a great spot to call home. When we are looking at builders, I have to be really straightforward with them. And anybody that knows me knows I don't have a lot of time for BS. <laughs> so I tell them all the things. If you're gonna have this many designers come into your house, you have to love color. You have to love wallpaper. You can't be afraid of pattern. They're gonna have big ideas and you have to be willing to work with them. In this particular case, you know, um, Tyler was like, I'm all in, I love designers, I love all the things. And so he kind of sold us on that. I will say that Tyler might be a builder, but he's a builder with a lot of opinions about design. <laughs> and with eight designers that came in, he expressed all of those opinions about design. <laughs> so my role as a builder in the midst of building this home with eight designers is the cohesion or the flow of the home and the function of the home. And Schlage has this keypad, it's their encode they just came out with. If you lock and leave or you have a family member coming over and you're not home, they don't have to have a key. You just punch a code and the door opens. When you pull into the house, there's this great circular driveway that all of a sudden has this major presence. But walking into the front doors, it's all glass. And so as you're coming into the front, you can see straight back into the rolling hills of Texas. It's really beautiful. So you come into this major space, you're greeted by this beautiful entry, and then you walk into the great room. And it is flanked on one side by this beautiful, tall fireplace. And then on the other side, this great kitchen that has an extensive area for cooking, for entertaining, a dirty kitchen, and even like a little laundry room, utility room for your pup. If you walked into the front and went this way, that is the owner suite. On the owner suite, there's two rooms. One is where the owner's bedroom is, their bathroom, and their closet. One of my favorite things about this house is that there's an outdoor shower off of the main bathroom. And again, private, so don't maybe do this in the city. <laughs> but in this land, there is room for it. If you go down the hall in the owner's wing, there's also an owner's den, a place to hang out, chill out, maybe have a cup of tea, end your night, just a place to relax that's not just the bedroom. Crossing the great room through the kitchen area, you get to this breezeway. And at first, it's really just meant to be literally that, an area that connects the garage to another wing of the house, kind of to the main wing of the house. But we thought we want every single space to have a point of view. So we worked with Garage Kings and Agave Custom Homes to design this beautiful floor in the garage that's perfect for all these gorgeous cars we have here. And then there's also all this great storage. So it really feels like a room that can do a lot more than a typical garage can and will always look great. Off of that is the media lounge, which is this spectacular space. It's super cozy and warm. And then down through the tasting room is an office that has some of the best views. Sometimes you have to think about also what's in your attic and in your walls. And in this home, we have Train's Clean Effect. And it's something that we're excited to have in here because it helps keep your air cleaner and healthier when you're in the house. 
The one thing I didn't mention, where these hills are, <laughs> before you get there and you go out these doors, there is the most spectacular outdoor area. We're in Texas, they like to entertain. So this area has everything you can imagine from a full kitchen, dining area set up with a built-in banquette, a little like bocce court or cornhole court, a pool, of course, because it's hotter than uh, down here. <laughs> I think something I've learned that I would want to apply to other homes with this home is I feel like every room has its own personality, right? And you design a house and you want cohesiveness, but I love that you walk into a room and you're surprised what you see. You know, we've got a pink loft area here and then we've got a yellow laundry room and then we've got a blue family room. It's unpredictable for people coming in to see your home. The reality is most homes cannot be built that are custom homes in this amount of time, which I think maybe from digging in the ground to now is maybe six months. That's extreme. So we ask for a lot from the builders we partner with. We don't give them the same amount of time and we're still living in the world of delays. So the fact that we pulled this off is major. Like big ups to Tyler for making this happen. Tyler's brick house. <laughs> it's mighty, mighty. Just letting it all hang out. <laughs> <laughs> and for the record, Tyler is not the boss. I am the boss of this space.